Welcome back to Let's Play Drawn to Life SpongeBob Edition. We're in the deep sea, which is definitely not rock bottom for whatever reason. Cliffs of Doom. This is also apparently where the Flying Dutchman's place is. Rather, his ship goes wherever it feels like, I guess, so that doesn't really mean much. More cars. It's never even anything new. It's just a crazy car. Okay. This one, though, actually is something that we can make relevant. Do we have any good pinks? Looks like a good pink. This is gonna look a little weird. I assure you. But... I like the idea. Uh, I wanna make sure that it doesn't... It's gonna be a little awkward trying to make this actually look like a an object instead of a blob though, so I'm gonna look at an image of it. something that will work. So. Hmm. It's gonna be weird because it's, it's at a weird angle though. I'll have to make it work. Alright. Start with that. I think it's working. It's like it's gonna take too long either. Unless I manage to spend like 10 minutes on each of these little lines. Which is wholly possible. Alright, now I think we got something. And is there really anything more to do than just this? I'm not sure there is. So the idea is that this is the clam that Sundra and Patrick ride in in the Sundra Scrippants movie video game when riding down the cliff in the deep trench. Because the cliff racer and riding down to the trench just kind of reminded me of that. Of course, that means it has no wheels, so it's going to be floating most likely. But that's okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Of course, I guess that's rolling. I, now, see, now I want to jump. Well, I, I can do that. Oh man, I barely made that. Why are there just boxes in my way? Like, why can't we make them enemies or something? Because well, the enemies... Darn it, I tried. Because the idea with the enemies is that... You dash into them. Hey, so it doesn't really feel like we're down in the trench just yet. I guess we're, we are starting at the top, aren't we? You all start looking darker as we get down. Then I'll feel more proper. Okay. That... What kind of enemies are these? It tells you to jump way too early. So these enemies are just flames for some reason. It's a little odd. Anyways, all of these pickups over the gaps are way too low in the air for me to actually pick them up. They don't follow the, my actual arc in a jump at all. Why would you do that, game? Okay. Good. I got scared for a moment, because I thought it just dropped me on the very edge to die like that. Oop. Oh, little mistake there. Hey, come on, I tried to speed up that time. You are actually getting lower, though, which is nice. Change in scenery. Yeah, I like this. It's a nice approach. You actually start up high and then we start going lower and lower. It doesn't immediately look like we're down at the bottom of the trench. Like, this place seems obviously slightly modeled off of rock bottom, but isn't rock bottom. I don't get that. I don't know how I was supposed to pick... Okay, that was weird. It told me to jump, but then jumping just threw me into enemies and made me miss the health pickup. So I'm jumping over the health pickups. I question the design of some of this.
Making up those lives. Sometimes, I get the impression that sometimes they just don't actually expect you to jump when it tells you to jump. It expects you to just drop down and get health that way. Darn it. Whatever. Okay, yeah, so the buildings and whatnot down here seem vaguely, very vaguely inspired by Rock Bottom, but I don't know why they won't actually make a Rock Bottom. At all. Wait, that's not where we're supposed to end up. We're supposed to end up in the deep sea when we travel to the deep sea, not back in the, back at home. Oh, there's a secret area this time. That's new. Slide man. Ha! What is this place? It's something different and original, which isn't inherently bad, but... And we're playing a Spongebob game to see Spongebob things, so it's kind of weird making up something new like this. When there's already something sufficient in the series itself to provide this. We could have had enemies that looked like denizens of rock bottom or something, or at least looked really alien like that. Which they did do. Except they didn't call it rock bottom. Which I find questionable. Like this architecture is a little different from rock bottom, but that it feels like they're trying to accomplish the same general oh hi. Feel without actually Making it rock bottom. Although that thing... What, when was this re released compared to the movie? This was released after the movie, wasn't it? That thing reminds me a lot of that particular creature that ate the ship. So are these just like bombs that... So can you touch these? Yeah, you can touch them. Interesting. So there are mines down here too. Something that, as far as I know, underwater mines never actually appeared in any of the Spongebob games. Or, not, well, games too, actually, but I'm in the show itself. I don't remember it ever being a thing, at least. What's this one? It's a block, apparently. Creative. Seaweed. Something to hide behind. Hmm. Now is the time I think to myself, have I played any games that have notable things to hide behind? I mean, a cardboard box, of course, comes to comes to mind. But I haven't actually played any Metal Gear games when I think of it, but it comes to mind regardless. But is that what I want to do now? I just drew a cardboard box quite recently. That's the main issue with that for me. I'm trying to think, is there anything I really play that's stealthy? And there was that one time where I played a Nicktoons game, actually, where Timmy was hiding in a bush. And by the hiding in a bush, I mean he literally just had a bush appear on top of him. Try something like that. Well, let's change the palette for something with a better green. Even do something like this. I don't know. I'll probably keep the outline black. I've made it black, the outlines almost everything in this game black so far, so it'll be kind of weird not to do it this time. Give it some flowers or something. Okay, well, it's not like make it look like vomit with a variety of rainbow-esque colors in it. It's just keep it to a couple of actual like flower colors. What about that one? I'll take it. It's inspired. Not particularly visually resemblant, but at the same time, the original wasn't especially visually resemblant of anything. Where'd that enemy go? This dude in his arms. Slenderman type of guy. It just seemed too inappropriate for rock bottom, except we're just non rock bottom. I 
The way he moves, too, it's so erratic. I haven't actually managed to make any use of these pushes just yet, but whatever. Yeah, man. We're well, going to be like an Enderman from Minecraft or something. Okay, how can I kind of not slide on this? The way he just kind of like... moves his arms at you wildly. To attack you. Alright, so is there stuff up top I should be seeing? So there should be up higher. Okay, so I can't... I wasn't sure if the spell, if the shell was spiky in a way that would hurt me or not. I just have to try out. Alright, so I'm gonna head on up to the upper bye, path in a moment. Gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. There's at one point also a secret quote unquote to find too, but that really just means that there's a door to walk into. Stop that. So it doesn't mean it's actually going to be hard to find or anything. I'm not even trying to jump on top of these guys' heads. It's working out that way. Now is there anything of note up here? I mean, there's a reason this area exists, right? Uh, not necessarily. A little weird out by the fact that we haven't found any goo to clean up yet, though. Whatever you want to call it. Ah, oh, the crouch function becomes useful. Nice. You can attack them, too. Figured. I wasn't sure if they'd, like, blow up immediately or something like that if you attack them, though. So I don't know if there's gonna be any point where it... Oh. Becomes mandatory to have the net for something in particular. Forgot I had Patrick with me. Oh, okay, cool. I get the slightly worse version of the same thing. <laughs> Not anymore. It is nice to get rid of projectiles of this thing, too, especially with its really good range. So, nobody saved yet. No goo cleaned up yet. This is really weird. I guess we're just gonna find a lot of it all of a sudden at one point in the level. So far, we're just running along, doing nothing. It's odd. I at least we drew something. Oh, man. Hey, don't respawn like that, jerk. Alright. Now, is there anything worth seeing up here? Thus far, there has not been anything worth seeing down there. And I actually managed to save myself an entire item's worth of jellyfish net by... Huh. Hi. Can I jump on you, though? Yeah. I picking up that glove just then. Wait, but it says... I, there's an arrow there. That's an interesting one. That's creative. Different and possibly making me miss a lot of things. Maybe not. That's pretty much bring me back to where I was. A crazy how much distance I suddenly covered though. <laughs> Dropping down that hole. So where's this? Oh, a good place to be is where it is. These things look like chews. Leave me alone. There we go. 
But, problem being... There's still some stuff in here. I don't know if I passed anything up just now. That's just with a spring but with other things. I am going to have to cut off the episode in just a moment, too. And with these bows becoming bigger and whatnot, it's always more of a pain to actually... Oh man, look at that. Hey, come on. It's becoming more and more of a pain to try to get everything on a level. I'll happily take that, though. It's hard to know when you are or aren't missing something. Hey, Larry! Okay. Thanks. That's something, at least. So that'll be that for this episode. Let's play Drawn to Life, Sons of Edition. I guess I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we possibly go through the rest of this level having missed some stuff earlier. I'm kind of paranoid about that. <laughs> Very well what might have been the case. So I guess we'll see if we end up trying to redo this level or something like that later. In any case, bye guys!